So I just want to update, uh, to give an update as to what's been going on. Um, grocery tampering is what has been going on. So I'm using a lot of cleaning supplies lately just because they don't have what I typically use. They still don't have the Lysol spray. They still don't have the Clorox wipes. So the last time I ordered something, I, I had ordered a pine saw because they had that. And it came, the seal was broken, but I figured, all right, it, it might have just come off by itself. I figured, you know, what could they possibly do to Pine Saw? You know, it, it, and I, this, is, this is just, this is the thing. You, in a situation like this, you always have to worry about things being tampered with, but I can't go out and, and get stuff. So I, I, I have to rely on, I, I just have to ha have them bring stuff, you know, deliver stuff. And they, of course, the, the people in the building then handle it first, and I never know what's going to happen. Anyway, I, I did order, I had to order more cleaning supplies. So today I had ordered more Pine Sol and I ordered some, some more soap and, and other cleaning items. So first of all, when, when, it, when it came, you know, they deliver it and they leave it downstairs, right? The people downstairs, they take it and they supposedly sanitize it and then they call us to let us know that it's there. They take it out of the bags as well to do that. Okay, when I, I, I you know, they called, I went down, I brought the stuff up. When I came back to put the stuff away, I noticed that, that, well, there were two bags, and one had the majority of the cleaning supplies in it, and the other had the few food items that I, I purchased. I didn't buy a lot of food this time, um, and the pine saw. Now, I don't know why they would have put the pine saw in. It looked a little weird from the start. I didn't know why they just didn't put the pine saw in with the other cleaning items. Why did they put it in with the food items? But when I picked it up, I, I figured it out. I went to pick it up and the bottle of Pine Sol was wet and I could smell the, I could smell it, right? It, and I picked up and the cap fell off and it, it just, it was leaking and spilling everywhere, all over the food. Now, I tend to buy packaged food. I, you know, I, I don't buy food anymore that's, that can be tampered with. The problem is they found a way to tamper with packaged foods as well. Um, you know, I don't know how they're destroying the cans, but I'll buy canned foods and a few days later I'll see that it's leaking, the can is leaking from the bottom. You know, and that's if it doesn't come obviously dented in, in you know, I say dented, but it's more like obliterated. I don't know. Well, this time I bought, I bought boxed food and it's, it's like a packaged food that's in a box and it's frozen. So the entire box was covered in Lysol. Um, and of course you I figured, well, if, if the food inside is still in the package and the package is still sealed, it'll be fine, right? So I, I took the food out of the box. I was going to do that anyway, and I washed the packages to make sure that no water got in because if water ended up inside the, the packages, then it, the pine salt could have gotten in as well. Then there was a hole somewhere. So with one of the packages, I noticed that there, there, um, it, it, there was no water inside it initially, but once I started washing it, water started leaking in. So there, there was a hole somewhere, and then I, you know, I looked around and I noticed Part of it, the, the part of it had been opened. Okay, the second package as well. There, there was a little hole in it. It was open, and so obviously I'm not going to eat something that could have been contaminated with pine salt. So we had to throw out some food, and it wasn't a lot. I, I didn't buy a lot of food, but even still, I don't like having to throw out food. The second thing is when they don't have something a specific product, sometimes they'll replace it with something else if they have something similar. So I ordered antibacterial hand soap and they didn't have what I ordered. So they replaced it with the one thing that I would not order anymore. Uh, they replaced it with um, milk and honey soft soap. No, I, I think there's actual like honey byproducts in there and milk byproducts in there. It's not just scented that way. Obviously, I wouldn't use that anymore since I went vegan and they know that. So, of course, that's what they would replace it with. Um... Two, when I went down to get the stuff, you know, first one guy came out and he passed. He looked me down and I've seen him before. He's made the gestures before. You know, I, 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 I know that he is, is one of the perpetrators. Okay, he's, he's maybe five foot eight, five foot nine, skinny, blonde, uh, balding. You know, I, I don't know. He could pass for Russian. He could be Russian. The other guy that came out um, is a guy who had knocked on our door to bring something up for my mom every once in a while. And of course they're wearing masks, but you, I can tell who they are. And um, yeah, he's dark haired, uh, looks kind of Eastern European. 
And both of them, each as they passed, they kind of stared me down. Like they, and they, they, they kind of held the gaze for, for quite a while before they actually passed. Anyway, that's what's happening. And I, I um, all I can say is that this is, you know, it's, it's pretty dangerous. It's getting really dangerous. The whole, uh, you know, chemicals mixed with food, it, it, this is dangerous. It's attempted murder. And what I want at this point is for everyone involved who knows what they're involved in but is doing it anyway to be held accountable to the highest extent of the law, the ultimate punishment. That's what I want. And I'm waiting for the day when the law finally allows that, when the law changes to bring us justice.